Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electrical Hub. Today's topic is why do we use parallel connection in our domestic household appliances? Means what? Our all our domestic appliances that is for example TV, refrigerator, washing machine, heater, AC these are connected in parallel and why they are not connected in series I am going to explain in this video. So please watch my full video. So let us start with the video. So first I will explain you the difference between series and parallel connection and why we connect them in parallel and why not in series I will give you three reasons for that okay so basically I will take an example of the domestic appliances for example TV fridge and heater and connect them in series and similarly I will connect them in parallel and show you the main differences okay so first I will take series connection okay now I'm connecting fan then TV and heater okay these three appliances I'm connecting them in series okay and this I'm giving a single phase AC supply now you all know that all our electric appliances work on single phase AC supply that is 230 volt similarly I will connect all these appliances in parallel Okay, now fan, then TV and heater. These are connected in parallel. Single phase 230 volt is supplied to the parallel connection similarly. Now the first main reason is that if I am applying a switch over here. Okay, and this switch is kept in off position. In series case, okay, if the switch is kept in off position, the current will not flow through all these appliances. Means what? All these appliances will kept in will be in off position. Means by putting this switch in off condition, all these appliances will not work. And if I switch on the supply, means switch or kept the switch in on condition, what will happen? All these electrical appliances will work at the same time do you want that all the appliances that is fan tv and heater all the appliances will work at the same time by putting a switch on obviously no. but in parallel condition what happens we can apply switch for each individual appliance now i can put this switch on for fan if i if i require fan in a working condition i can switch the on for the fan similarly if i want to switch on tv i can put on the switch for the tv so each appliance will work individually in case of parallel okay? they are not depend on each other now the second main reason is that voltage drop okay if the current in series condition you know that current is passing through fan tv heater there will be voltage drop across each load now remaining there will be voltage drop across tv across sir. so there all these appliances work on 230 voltage if the voltage is reduced for the further appliances then what will happen they will not work properly but in case of parallel connection what happens each appliance each individual appliance will get 230 volt supply okay each individual appliance will get 230 voltage supply and they will work properly then third main reason is that if there is a fault in suppose there is a fault in working of the fan then what will happen the switches of there will, there will be the circuit will break and the current will not pass through fan, TV and heater. Means all these appliances, further appliances will be in off condition. But if there is a short circuit or there is a fault in the fan, then what will happen? Only this circuit will remain off. The remaining current will pass through TV and heater. Means these appliances are not depend op upon the other appliance means TV and heater will not depend on the faulty appliances. They will work 
on their individual current okay so the circuit is completed even if the current is passing through tv and so on okay so this is the main third reason then again fourth reason is that r equivalent we know that in series case r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 similarly r equivalent in case of parallel is 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 okay if suppose r1 is each individual resistance of load is 2 plus 2 plus 2 means the r equivalent is always greater as with respect to each individual resistance in case of series connection but in case of parallel r equivalent is always less as compared to each individual resistance this means what the r equivalent is greater in case of series and r equivalent is less in case of parallel means what the current will be reduced in case of series and current will be increase in more in case of parallel why because you know the basic formula of ohm's law v is equal to ir now v is constant that is 230 volt so current is inversely proportional to resistance means resistance increases then current will reduce as the resistance reduces the current will be increased so basically depending upon this law resistance and current are vice versa so as the resistance increases in case of series condition current will automatically be reduced and in parallel case what will happen as the resistance is reduced current will be more so this is why this is, these are the main reason why we use parallel connection for our home appliances and hope you understood this video hope you like my video please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you guys for watching my video